We've killed the Muspa once. Let's see if we can get the Ancient Icon to drop before Desert Treasure 2 comes out. We've got about six days until the quest is released. I wonder if we can even get it before the quest comes out. If you saw my first kill count video, it's going to be the same gear. Thought I would get prepared enough, and now I'm realizing that I don't have runes for any of the Arceus spells, as well as not being on the spellbook. Alright, Tiss, give us the Arceus spellbook back. And now to remember the runes I need. Another quick inventory change, and let's get back to the Muspa. I'm mainly hoping I can do this without getting too nervous again. So the Muspa killed me seven times before I got the first kill count. I'm really hoping it's not a repeat of that. Drink the potion, and here goes nothing. Yeah, already messing up here. A lot. Now, oh, come on. This should put us back on track. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A little bit early, but that should time it. Why can I not get the timing of this down anymore? Oh, we're getting better at not getting hit by his spikes that he pulls up, though. I spoke too soon. Ah, crud. Yep. 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 Of course. Not paying attention at the end, it'll always get you killed. Let's just get back to trying this again. Uh, here goes nothing for the second time. Wait a minute. I can just be walking in this? Not perfectly, but what? Okay, yeah, it's not working as well as I thought it would. Okay, scratch that. I know the step back method involves walking, but uh, it seemed like it could have just been continuous. That was a better transition. Last phase. Don't mess it up like you're already doing. We should be fine. There we go, kill count number two. And unfortunately, we don't get lucky enough to be out of here already. That was a close one, but each kill we're getting just a little better. If I can survive the chip damage, we have this. No, that was so close. It's because I turned on the other prayer too fast. Darn it. That makes nine deaths. Alright, kill count five. We're a tenth of the way there with no icon yet, but 837k is not bad at all. We're now up to seven kill count. Let's try to go for our first two kill trip. Not gonna happen on this run. Come on, just hit the five. There we go. Jeez, that was too close. Let's go for the double kill for this trip. Let's do it. We're not in the best position of supplies, but we might be okay. If we had more prayer, we'd be fine, but we gotta get out of here. Still not having the best luck at getting a two kill count trip. Tend to be using a little more than half of our supplies each kill, but it can't hurt to try, so let's go for it. Dang it, once again, the two kill trip is cut short by running out of prayer. There we go. Looks like we got our combat task completed. I don't have to worry about doing spaces tight anymore. Thank you. Let's see if we can do the double kill count on this one. We pretty much still have all of our supplies. Seems like this will be a good run for the two kill count. There we go. Two kills in one trip, and we didn't even bring in the double prayer potions. I'm happy with that, we'll take it. First two kill count trip ends up on kill count 15. Still no icon, but we're at just shy of 2.5 mil. There we go, it's kinda poetic. Not only do we get the Ancient Icon, but our second two kill trip is also ending on kill count 20. There it is, sitting in the inventory. We are done here. I don't think I could have planned out the second two kill count trip ending on 20, also dropping the Ancient Icon, if I meant to plan it. That's one of those beautiful coincidences you like to see. And it's not a guaranteed drop, so thank you for getting it before reaching the 50 that it could have been. Or worse, just going dry. 
Oh, and out of 20 kills, we came out just shy of 3 mil total GP. Not too bad of a haul. And on that spoon, have a good day, you guys.